Thank you very much, uh, Michael. Thanks to you all. I think this was a victory for all of us. It was a victory for journalism. Uh, I'm proud of the courage of Fairfax uh, to run this story. It was a big, big call. I'm proud of the courage of my own family, and you know, Nick's family's here as well. Um, you know, they've lived through this. Uh, we, we, as is the case with all of us, I'm proud of the, not, not just the courage, but the tenacity of the lawyers who are here. Uh, there is such a thing as investigative lawyers. Uh, they did a wonderful job. I'm most of all proud of the, the courage of the soldiers that, that spoke up. Uh, they're the true um, heroes. Proud of the courage of this man too. He certainly scares me. Uh, it was, it's, it's amazing to see how a room often divided stand up and um, that was uh, brought a bit of a tear to my eye. I want to thank Chris for putting up with me. My nine-year-old son is here, Caspar. He's seen his dad on literally in a ball on the floor. My mother, my 76-year-old Jewish mum's here. So a massive thanks for both of you to, to coming. A really quick story I wanted to tell you. Uh, one of the, among the unsung heroes of this story, uh, the Afghan journalists, who not just helped me and Chris out, but helped out the anyone who goes, any Western journalist who goes to Afghanistan needs these Afghan reporters. One in particular, as Kabul was falling, he was trapped there. He'd, he'd done a huge body of work for us, he never acknowledged, and he couldn't get out with his family. And uh, you know, in a real twist, I think one of our SAS witnesses who stood in court and told the truth about seeing Robert Smith execute, or order an execution, it's one of those guys in the SES who was dispatched to Kabul to help those Afghans who were given Aussie visas. And it made me so proud of the SES and those guys who, who told the truth. And then finally, a short, or not too long ago, that Afghan journalist, he was standing next to me uh, in, in knee-deep water in Victorian Ocean, and his wife in her full veil and her sister in her full veil and their kids, they walked into the cold Victorian Ocean. They'd never seen an ocean in their lives. And these two fully veiled women, they sat down and just felt that cold water lap their bodies. And I thought, how good is this? Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Uh, congratulations. congratulations again to Chris Masters and Nick McKenzie. Um, accept this. Something to be a war. Good on you. Come on, keep that round of applause going a little bit louder for Nick McKenzie and Dr. Chris Masters. Extraordinary work.